So our final speaker is a chartered accountant with a wealth of experience, including working with large organizations, teaching, and he is currently the president of the Toast of the Town Toast Toastmasters. That's a tongue twister. Also, you've probably heard his name a thousand times before in different contexts. Please welcome to the stage, John Doe. Hello? Oh, okay. Now, before I start, I'm gonna tell you now that being a Toastmaster, I have a very special guest here that I'd like to thank at a later time, so when I do thank her, please applaud. <laughs> <laughs> and before I press this big red button, I'd like to say, man, I've been wanting to press this thing all night, so here. Oh yeah, here we go. Good evening, everyone. My name is John Doe, and yes, that is my real name. I'd like to share my thoughts on fate today. At least during some point in your life, you encounter some roadblocks or difficulties that you can't seem to get past. And yes, I have a quarter life crisis right now. And then by some stroke of luck, you'll find a mentor. Now I've always wanted to be a leader, a good speaker. I had this idea of what success was. It looks like this straight line here going up. More money, more responsibilities, and more opportunities. If I had all of this, I'd be happy. But as you want more money, you realize you never have enough. With more responsibilities, you realize, you know what, I have too many responsibilities. Just, just too many. And with more opportunities, you wish you could take all of them. But you can only choose one sometimes. I found myself at this point recently, I was stuck like this turtle here. I needed some sort of sign from above, you know, at least some indication that everything would be okay. Everything would work out. But as I struggled more, nothing changed. So I thought, maybe it's fate. John, you have to wait. There's something you don't know or there's something you need to learn. But what is it? I've been waiting for a while, you know, I've been stuck like this turtle, not moving anywhere. Awkward turtle. And you know what? Here's the one thing. I love speaking, but look how excited I am there. It's really not excited. <laughs> one day at work, I realized I'm not good at public speaking. I might really like it. I have a lot of energy, passion, but I couldn't really explain something on a chart. I was embarrassed. This is where fate intervened. And I'll just borrow a line, you know, the universe. Bring, give me a contest. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I said I wanted to improve my public speaking, and then I heard about a club called Toastmasters. And no, I'm not trying to sell this to anybody. I'm just telling you about what I've experienced. And I know that I needed a lot of practice. More practice, more consistency. I needed feedback, somebody to push me along the way. And that's why I'm here tonight. This is kind of like my training ground to prove to myself that I can speak in front of 400 people and not be nervous and be ready. And you know what they say? You're never 100% ready. You're only ready enough. That's why I feel I'm here tonight. I'm ready enough to be here to speak to you tonight. I'm so glad that somebody told me that about Toastmasters. It's something that I didn't really know about until I started looking at what I needed to do. And literally, somebody just told me, I'm in Toastmasters. And it changed my life for an entire year. An entire year. I spent my time doing speeches. Oh, oh, we're getting to that part. In my Toastmaster journey, I also met a very good teacher and mentor. Her name is Joanne Smith, and she's in the audience today. So please give her an applause. She's been the driving force of my self-development. Fate works in a really funny way. Whenever I needed advice or I had trouble, she'd be first to the rescue. I, she was not there when this happened, and I'm, I'm not even in this picture. <laughs> One of the greatest lessons I learned from her was to develop people and not work. There's always work, but the work has to have some sort of value. You know what, I never thought I could go out there and teach public speaking, but I did. 
And you know what? I saw people succeed and get better, and they came back to me and said, thank you. Thank you for the work that you put into this, because I did it for them. I put the students first. And doing Toastmasters gave me lots of challenges, but also gave me lots of opportunity. Now, I work for the city of Calgary, and there's a lot of counselors there. You know, they, they speak on the big podium, and I got a chance to speak with some of them because of Toastmasters. At work, I would never speak to them. I'd be like, oh, I need to stay in my little spot, be, my, be an accountant. <laughs> if you ask hard enough, a path will open to you. And this is not a contest, but you know, <laughs> sorry, I, lo I love using that. That's really great. I think the universe knew what I was asking for and led me down that path. And if I just would have said no, I don't want that. I, none of this would have happened. If I were in a different phase of my life, I don't think I would have gotten this far. And actually, I have a few friends that keep telling me, John, I think it's time for you to move on from Toastmasters. But they haven't seen me do this. And once I have a video of this, I will show them that I'm no longer trapped by fate. You see, fate is like a box. You're, you're, either, you're either with it or you're not with it. And maybe you feel constrained by it. Sometimes you have to look at what's in store for you next. Maybe you're there to learn a lesson. Fate can teach you and guide you in many ways. But I find that you also have to want to learn or take that path. It goes both ways, kind of like this sign there. Now you may be wondering, have I broken through all my walls and barriers? No, not necessarily. Has this magically solved all my problems? Also, no, I still have a quarter life crisis, but it's not that bad. I'm a millennial. <laughs> and you know, I could use a hammer. So if anyone has a hammer, let me know. <laughs> However, if you believe in fate the way that I do, then I think there's always more lessons to learn along the way. Fate is a really good teacher as long as you're there to, to see and to learn it. And I can say that with some certainty that if I inspired anyone here to develop themselves in public speaking, I did my job. Thank you. Thank you.